Hey, it's me, Mario, and welcome to this video where I'm going to walk you through some of the actual retargeting advertisements that I've been running. And maybe you actually see some of them because um, if you're watching this video, you invested in this case study and um, it's very, very likely that I retargeted you. So maybe you recognize some of them. Now, this is actually from the webinar mastery launch. Okay, that I just did before the case study launch and um, after webinar mastery was done, I did a webinar and I promoted it also with retargeting. Basically, for every um, promotion that I do, I try to have a retargeting campaign set up. Um, now, in this case, if you look here on the right hand side, this is a newsfeed ad, um, just a close up picture of myself uh, on stage. And usually, you know, I, I'm a big believer, like I told you, in imperfect action. I just want to get something up and running quickly. I don't, you know, spend a lot of time thinking about, oh, my God, what should be the copy? What should be the perfect image? I just grab an image, write some quick copy, and boom, it's more important to get re exposure and to get results rather than trying to be perfect. So as you can see here, I, I stress the, the scarcity. It says, yes, last um, 24 hours and then gone. Click here before the price doubles. Last chance to grab webinar mastery with a 90% discount. And then on top, it says in the headline, quick reminder, my webinar mastery specialist almost gone grab it today don't miss out so it's very very um scarcity based as you can tell and um you know it's all about last chance and things like that and it works well by the way okay um, especially um if you do like three day uh, sales like i've been doing recently with these smaller launches and um, but anyway even if you have a seven day uh, launch it doesn't matter any special offer that expires um obviously the more scarcity you have in your um in your advertisements that you run in the last 24 to 48 hours, you know, the more uh, the more it's going to work. Then here on the left hand side, I think this is a funny one. Um, you know, I basically um, found this image of Super Mario jumping or basically my wife did. And, um, you know, she had my face placed in there. And I just, you know, I think it's a funny one to retarget. It says webinar mastery last 24 hours expires in 24 hours. And, um, you know, with a 90% discount, again, they're all scarcity based because I run them specifically in the last 24 to 48 hours when they work well. And um, the difference is newsfeed, you don't get as many um, impressions. But the thing is, in the newsfeed, you know, obviously, you're going to get a higher click through rate because that's where people spend most of the time. The cool thing with the right hand side ads is that they um, you get many, many more impressions. So they're going to be shown much more often than this one with the colors and with the jumping. It stands out, in my opinion, that way, you know, um, I get a lot of uh, exposure that way. Cool. Another example is this one right here. So basically, um, also, you know, my wife, helped, my wife helped me with that one. We just took a couple of pictures where it did like this, like this or like that. And, um, you know, I'm just pointing up and then someone on Fiverr just in, um, put news up there. And I've been, you know, multi-purposing that image uh, for all kinds of uh, promotions. And it says here, Mario's webinar mastery and expires in 24 hours. So in this case, I put Mario in the actual um, headline just because so that people can um, recognize it again right away and my name so to speak okay because they just saw my sales page most likely that's why they see the retargeting campaign they see my image and i also want to put the name on there and they go like oh this mario what's going on with him click on it and i drive them back to the website and also fully scarcity based of course um for webinar mastery and then here i was using a timer so um this actually didn't have an image of myself usually i oh 90 percent of the cases i use an image of myself um, in this case, I used the timer. It says almost gone, last chance. And then um, I'm actually surprised that I didn't put my name here in the copy below that because, you know, if you just have an image and you don't put at least the, the, the product name in there or your own name, people might not recognize it. So at least here it says in the URL, Webinar Mastery. And then right below it, I also made sure it says right away, Webinar Mastery. So it's the first thing that people see when they go down from the image um, to the actual text. And um, that way, you know, just to recognize it right away. I need them obviously to understand that it's about um, the, the the launch that I'm promoting. And then here, a couple more examples on the left hand side, um, you know, with the flames on the hand. Again, just took a picture like this and had it um, photoshopped. And um, this is now for the replay. So after a launch is done, usually I do a webinar. And on the webinar, and when the webinar is done, then I promote the replay to the database, but also on Facebook um, with traffic. And again, it's just, you know, same thing. It's very scarcity based 24 hour traffic replay here on the right hand side. Also retargeting replay live. And it's like a lifestyle picture, a random picture that I had um, with um, where we were in Mexico. And I just was like, hey, I need a picture really quick that, you know, speaks for lifestyle. Boom, I used that one here. OK, so these are real world examples. Then this right here, as you can see, the one that says news, I've used it here for. I don't know this also for the webinar mastery, actually. And then here on the right hand side, a, a picture of my son. 
um, yawning it looks like he's screaming and I use that because at the webinar mastery video the first thing that you see and I use it as a pattern interrupt is that image so I knew if I use it on Facebook for retargeting most likely people gonna recognize it and like hey I saw this image before and that's what you want this moment when someone goes like huh and boom now you got their attention and you can draw them into your marketing um, let's see if I have another one here okay this is um, also the one that you saw before, but instead of right hand side, this time I also was running it as the news feed. So it pops up in people's news feed. OK, um, also a real world example. And I think, um, yep, that's it. And this one also I use as well. Um, you don't see the copy here, but this image um, you might recognize from the launch. And I use that one also to retarget people. And I'm going to very aggressively use it in this one here. So most likely you've been seeing it all day because I used that in the beginning of my launch video as a pattern interrupt. So now I retarget people when they are going to immediately recognize it because obviously it stands out. OK, so that's a real world case studies. Those are the actual retargeting creators that I've been running. As you can see, I just focus on my own images. That way I don't have to worry about copyright or anything like that. And obviously I'm the brand of the company, so I can do that. You know, if you're not the brand, that's okay. Just use iStock photos and you can do that as well. Same principle. You can use a timer if you don't want to have an image of yourself. That's totally cool. They work just as fine. So um, right now, go ahead. Uh, you watch the other video where I show you actually how to create the retargeting campaign inside of Facebook. And with that being said, I'm Mario Brown. See you in the next video.